Hello and welcome back. This is Excel Video 311. It's helping a group run custom reports to pull meaningful use data out of their system so that they knew where they were and knew what they needed to work on so they could attest. If you need help managing your data, I'd love to help you. What we're going to do today is take that get pivot data formula a step further. Remember last time we played over here, this time we're going to start with this formula that, remember, as it is now, it won't copy down. It's still referencing the Medicare sum of allowed and sum of billed. Based on what we learned last time, we can easily take this formula and get rid of Medicare that's kind of hard-coded into this formula. And we'll say, no, 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 you know, we're going to live off of the primary insurance that's in A9. And we're going to do the same thing in the denominator of this formula, A9. If you look at the formula now that I'm done with it, all we're doing is we're taking get pivot data, sum of allowed A8 primary insurance A9. What does that mean? We're going to the pivot table. It starts in A8, pulling the sum of allowed field where the primary insurance is A9, and dividing it by the same pivot table that goes in A8, the sum of build field where the primary insurance is A9. All we're doing is taking this cell divided by that one. When I hit return, now I've got a formula I can copy. What I want to do next is show you well, what happens if you come over here and add years into the columns of the pivot table. Now, when I do this, you may have not seen this, or you may see this message all the time. What Excel is saying is, hey, if I add years to your pivot table, all this formula stuff that you had going out over here to the right is going to, it's going to go away. It's going to be overwritten by my pivot table. Are you okay with that? And I'll say, sure. If I come over here, sure enough, all my formulas are gone, and that's okay. We've done what we need to do. Let me, let's just come here and do equals, and let's look on sum of allowed for 2009. Medicare, and I'll show you how the formula works. Let's come over here and move this up here and see if we can understand what's going on. So we're going to take the sum of allowed field. Yep, that's what we wanted for a pivot table that starts in A8. Now, the pivot table went up a row because we added the years to it. You notice that Excel is always going to try to do the top left-hand column so that if the pivot table shrinks because you took columns away or you filtered something out, you're always going to still have some piece of that pivot table. From there, we're going to take where the primary insurance field, remember primary insurance is what's stored here in the rows, is Medicare. And then we're field two, years, so the years field, and then we need to scroll down, is 2009. So if we do that, that works. And notice what happens if I pull years here, it still works. And here it still works. Because if you look at the formula, Notice no place does it say rows and columns. All it does is say field. Show me field one, field two. So whether field one is in the rows or the columns or field two is in the rows, the columns, it doesn't matter. The get pivot data can track down that 815,755 and get it from right there. That's what I wanted to show you today. We can complicate things just a little bit further and do all kinds of powerful things by just putting multiple fields in here. We've still got the same sum of allowed field in this pivot table, and we're just further qualifying what we're looking for. The primary insurance is Medicare, and the years is 2009. Stay tuned. I want to show you one more thing about get pivot data. We'll work through that example. We'll do it next time. Thanks for watching.